Okay, so we're good to start. Welcome everybody to Bletchley and Fenny Stratford Town Council for Council Meeting. Um, we first open the meeting with uh, members' apologies. Yes, Chairman, we have apologies from uh, Councillor Hewitt, Councillor Porter, uh, Councillor Smith and Councillor Rohim. Okay, thank you. Um, members and declarations of interest on the agenda? Anybody? Don't see any electronic hands raised, so I shall move on. To approve the minutes from previous meeting. Okay, so we've got page one, page two, page three. That's it. So we will agree those minutes. Okay, we now got the portion of the agenda for public speaking. Have we have any applicants for public speaking, Delia? No, nobody's asked any questions or made any um, requests to speak. Okay, um, Ethan. Ethan. Sorry, Chair, I should have noted, I should have asked it to be noted that item nine on the agenda, I am currently on the waiting list for an allotment at Newton Lees. Okay, thank you. Councillor Ely. Councillor Ely. Sorry, Chair, I wasn't, uh, I didn't realise on. Okay, are you happy with everything so far? Yep. Okay. Okay, we'll move on then. We're going to item five, planning applications. And the first one is 33 Mill Road in Bletchley, the removal and existing modernised conservatory and adjoining extension. Anybody got any comments? Okay, item two of five is again 33 Mill Road. True. Has anybody got anything on the second item? Oop. So we'll make no comment to that particular application. Okay, okay then we've got um, item three of five and four, which are both 93 Bacara Grove. First four single side extension over existing garage, then single storey rear extension. Anybody got any comments? Okay, we'll make no on that one, no comment on that one. Okay, then we have 963, sorry, Western Road. Anybody got any comments? Okay, and then we've got 188 Hunters Drive, single storey side extension. Okay, I have Councillor Ely. It's taking a while for it to unmute him. Yeah, I know. Jill, you're not trying to do it at the same time, are you? No, I'm not. I'm not touching it. So, you're Jill, you're not touching me. it either, are you? No. I think Keith okay. will have to accept. Um. Councillor, really, I've tried to unmute you. There you go. Check. Do we really need to be on mute? I th because there's that. Yeah, well, let, have you got a comment on 80, 188 Hunters Drive? No. no okay. okay, who else wish to speak? Anybody? Haven't got any more hands raised. Okay, so we'll make no comment on that. 
Item six is to note recent planning application decisions made by MK Council. Yes, there's just two chairman. There is a there is a note, um, 68 Water Eaton Road um, refused and um, Land at Eaton leaves discharge of the condition which we, we mentioned on the last occasion. I think Councillor Hume. Yeah, I've got Councillor Hume. Yeah, just on that, I'm aware, I, I'm not quite sure when it happened, but um, there was an approved, um, the application on Simpson Road, just or Simpson Road was approved in the last month or so. Um, and there was talk of there being S106 funds being uh, made available from that development. Um, but there are no details currently on Milton Keynes Council planning portal. Um, so I do wonder if we could follow that up. So I think there are potential uses for that money in that area. Look into that, Councillor. Thank you, Councillor. Okay, I'm going to um, move to do item seven at the end because there are some confidential items on there. So I'm going to go to um, item eight to respond to the LGA consultations on members' code of conduct. Does anybody wish to speak? Um, could I could I speak on this one, please, Chairman, if I may? Yeah. Um, you recall that there was um, uh, there's been um, an investigation. The committee um, for standards in public life did an, an investigation and a piece of research into this, and, and produced uh, their findings um, last year, or it might even have been the year before. Um, and this this code of conduct, this this model code of conduct that's been produced by the LGA, is the outcome of that. Given that this this council has had um, a number of issues with with um, code of conduct issues, it seems quite important that we should um, respond to this. Now, the um, the consultation runs until um, mid to the end of August, so there is time to respond to this on the next occasion if members would prefer to um, uh, to wait. Um, I, um, I've, I've included in the papers the electronic um, response form that is required. So I don't know if it, how you want to approach this. If you want to, um, um, if you want to uh, give me some feedback tonight, and I can prepare a draft response based on the feedback you give tonight, or you could all send in individual comments, or we could choose not to comment. Uh, or we could all do individual comments. Um, it's a matter for you as a, as a council to consider, but I think it is quite an important issue and I think all councils should be commenting on it really. Okay, does anybody wish to speak? Can't see anybody's hand. Oh, Councillor Hume. Yeah, Councillor Kelly Wilson and Councillor Hume. Councillor Hume. Brilliant. Um, I'm happy to give some feedback. Um, I don't know whether, I mean, I'm happy to do it now or I'm happy to do it um, directly to you um, as the clerk. Um, so, I mean, depends what we prefer as a council. Do we want to do the feedback now or do we, to, do we want to go via the clerk? But I do have some feedback and I'm happy to give it either way. OK, has so anybody else got any comments? I, I quite like the idea of giving um, personal feedback on this. Um, but I don't know how other councillors feel, whether you want to do one as a council and give feedback to the clerk and then we can review it. Councillor Hume, you're still not muted, so you can speak. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, I think it's important that we can give individual responses, but I think it's also good that we give a response as a council um, because it's, it, there's... Mm, some weight when they if they receive so many responses from councils um, who have probably maybe discussed it and just worked out what their responses that may help them in, in terms of how they deal with the consultation but I do think it's um, given the number of complaints that have gone via the um, standards committee in this council over the last five years um, it's possible that we should have many of us will have a view and we can probably make that work collectively as council. Okay thank you councillor Hume. Okay, um, the, Councillor Graham. Oh, 
Oh, Richard, I don't think one of you at all, mate. You can now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on now. Yeah. I, think, I think what happens is that it, it says it comes up with unmute, and then I think you might have to unmute yourself. I, I think that's what it is. Um, so, um, regards to the, um, this item, I think that collectively as a council and for the purposes of um, it being online, that we um, are very clear in our response and the public need to hear how council is thinking and what direction the council is thinking. And I think that, you know, although it's nice to give feedback to the clerk direct ourselves for the purposes of um, it being streamed online, the, the, the practice of airing our views sometimes may give an indication to members of the public how council is thinking. I'm just throwing that out there to council in respect of it being streamed live on, on, on Facebook that they get a, a, a genuine understanding of how it all works and how each individual councillor has the option to um, make their views be um, present. So I don't know how other members think about that, but for the purposes of being clear to members of the public when we are speaking as a council that they hear how we're talking. Okay, thank you then, Councillor Graham. Um, so what I'm understanding, hang on a minute, Delia, then I'll do, is that we should feed information into our clerk for us to do a council response. And if individuals want to respond, they can. Delia. Yes, I was just going to say, in terms of it being aired publicly, the council's response being aired publicly, um, what I had in mind was that if councillors um, gave their feedback, I would then prepare a, co a, a corporate response from, you know, incorporating those for the council to agree on at a future council meeting. As I say, we've got until um, mid to the end of August to get to go back with the response. So there would be time for it to be discussed again at another meeting. So any views could be could be made uh, could be articulated at, at the next meeting if that's what councillors yeah. um, wanted to do. Okay, so um, does anybody else wish to speak first? Okay, so if we're proposing then to give our details to the clerk for a council response, and if councillors wish to do individual ones, they can. Is everybody in agreement with that proposal? And I suppose I need a seconder. Councillor Graham seconding or Councillor Macdonald, I think. Both willing okay. to second. Okay. Are you seconding? Yeah, I, I, sec I second the, the motion. Okay. So, all those in favour? Okay, anyone against? I have no one against. Anyone abstaining? No one abstaining. So I'm taking that as everybody agreeing to that proposal. Um, I'm not sure we can count Councillor Haynes because he seems to have gone off screen. So I don't know if you need to note that. Okay, moving on to item nine, to receive a report on the Newton Lees allotments and to agree further actions. Does anybody wish to start? Um, I don't know if you want me to speak to this. When I wrote the report, I, I was hoping that we might have some more information today from the from concept management, who are the um, project management company that Taylor Wimpy have um, appointed to um, make the site fit for us. Uh, to accept as a transfer. Um, I was assured last week that we would have more feedback at the beginning of this week about when the contractor would be completing the work to rectify the um, faults with the taps and the pipes. Um, but in fact, um, I haven't heard anything um, today as I'd hoped. Um, but um, I have been assured, as I say in the um, report, that the work will be completed the work on the um, 
flooding and the taps and pipes would be completed within the next two weeks. Well, that was a week ago, I was assured that. So theoretically within the next week. Um, but I, I am um, I am concerned that this is continuing to um, dr drag on. Okay, has anybody got any comments? Councillor Ely. I propose, Chair, that we leave it uh, in the hands of the officers to proceed with the uh, transfer when they are satisfied that the conditions have been met. Okay. Anybody else got any comments? Is the water situation, that's what I remember, is, is that? Yes, it's the, what, the taps were wrongly installed in the first instance and um, they're now leak the taps are now leaking and the piping is leaking and there's flooding in the corner of the site which Taylor Wimpy agreed to um, try and um, correct. Um, and we don't know whether that is caused by the faulty taps or whether it's just the way that water lies on the land generally. I suspect the latter, but um, but yeah. I mean, so we wouldn't agree anything until that. No, no. It, it should it should be it should be dealt with by Taylor Wimpy before we act. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is everybody happy with that mm -hmm. um, proposal from Keith? I suppose we should do this correctly. Do we have a seconder for that proposal? Amen. Okay, all those in favour? Okay, anyone against? And um, Councillor Kelly Wilson is abstaining, not taking part in the vote. Uh, otherwise that was unanimous. Okay, we will move on to item 10. Is this something that can be discussed in open? Delia, the update? Um, I think I can give the update. It depends what councillors might want to ask about. Um, so I think it's a matter for you. I mean, it, is, it does concern potential litigation in the long term. So. Okay. Um, I'd like to promote, propose that we move to um, confidential session. Can I have a seconder? Councillor Kelly Wilson. All those in favour? Okay, anyone against? Anyone against? Anyone abstaining? Chair, I, I just want to whether we should, I know we've moved stuff around on the order and the reason why I'm not keen on going to public session, um, going into private session now, um, or excluding the public and press is the proper terminology. Mm -hmm. um, is we still got item there, there are items on this agenda that we haven't we've skipped and actually i i would prefer that they for example the review of the minutes of hr and finance committee should be done in public and also the discussion around the reserves should be done in public um so i i would i would prefer that we maybe reject this order look okay. at those two items and then go into um, okay, I, I hear I hear exactly what you're saying, Councillor Hume. Um, I was advised on item seven that it should be done in um, confidential session. Is that not? Can we do the two, the uh, Councillor Hume? We could do the two. That, yeah, it's only the quotations on item seven two. The rest okay. of the is on item seven. Okay, is everybody it's... happy for me to do that? Yeah. 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 Okay, so we'll do that motion again. When we get to it. So um, item seven, the minutes from previous committee meetings. Um, the minutes are from the HR committee held on the 9th of June. Does anybody have any questions regarding those minutes? No? no. Okay, so they will be agreed by that committee. They're just for noting on this occasion. Yes. Um, so then we will move to item 72A, which is the minute reference to transferring of earmarked reserves. So if you look on page 78 of the pack, which uh, is the relevant page of the finance minutes, 
then you can, you can see the recommendation that the finance um, committee have made with regard to transfer of reserves from general reserve to earmarked. Um, it may be that um, some of the finance committee yes. would like to speak. Yeah. So, Councillor Ely, do you want to bring this forward? Thank you, Chair. Um, yeah, what, it, what it is is that the, you can see that uh, this is a um, mechanism for uh, getting particular money into particular earmarked reserves, which also has the benefit of reducing the general reserve uh, to a more manageable figure. And the uh, one, two, three, four, five um, amounts um, equate to the amount that the general reserve in the initial case should be reduced by. Um, and they are recommendations to the council uh, for approval. Okay. Does anybody have any questions for Councillor Ely on, on the move of the reserves? No. Okay. And I move, Chair, that they, um, that they be accepted. Okay. So all those in favour of the move of those reserved items? Okay. Anybody against? Okay. Nobody is abstaining. So that is everybody in favour of that. OK, so now I will propose that we go into session where the public and press are excluded. I have a seconder for that motion. Councillor Kelly Wilson. OK, all those in favour? OK, anybody against? Anybody abstaining? I'm taking that as everybody is voting to go into session excluding the public and press. And thank you, Ed, for, for that. So that, be, that being the case, Chairman, I'll stop the live streaming of the meeting now for those thank two you. final items.